Well, the hard thing about doing a segment like that is that when you don't know it, you don't know where you need to ease back and where you can step on the gas. There were some sections there where I definitely could have gone deeper. But I just didn't know what was coming. That last section, I actually had to walk it. It was just too steep. G'day and welcome to Running Australia. This is episode 22, I want to say. 22 in Atherton in far north Queensland. And this place is remarkable. So many mountain biking and running trails all over the place. And so this morning we're going to go and run one which is called Widow. Let's hope it doesn't end up that way. <laughs> Ready? This is a pretty cool little trail that runs straight out the back of the uh, caravan park where we're staying behind us. So let's go running. Now this run basically goes straight uphill. In the last episode at Herberton, you will have seen, oh, hang on, what do I do? This way, best views around the widow. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Look at that. Widow maker, two kilometer walk, best views around. Let's go do it. Sorry, in the last episode, we were at uh, Herberton and um, yeah, it was hard, <laughs> just with the elevation. So I'm gonna take it nice and easy this morning. There are two course records, KOMs on Strava, that look interesting. The very last 500 meter push up to the Widow, the Widowmaker, looks good. Then coming back down that as well. So let's do it. Best views around. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, so far it's just straight up. Yeah. Patterson is one of those places in Australia where they've been building tons of mountain biking trails. I think there's something like 70 kilometers of single track here to ride. And of course, if you then go down to Cairns, there's even more. So, great part of the world for that. And when there's mountain biking, there's running. It's gonna, of course, run the same trails. Okay, good to know. Right hand junction on the way down. Right, through the trees up there. That must be Mount Baldy. Gonna go and run that tomorrow. Actually, here we go called Yabby Mountain. Awesome. We are there. Do the Yabby today. And tomorrow we'll do Mount Baldy. I guess the key here is uh, I'm not going for the overall record on this trail so I'm just letting my legs warm up easily. Warm up gently as we climb towards the final pitch. Final pitch is 500 meters, average gradient 6%. The chap who currently holds it did it in 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Which is pretty fast. And then coming down will be interesting because that's also got a KOM. 500 meters down, done in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. I'm guessing it's going to be kind of rocky so there's a risk of rolled ankles coming down very slow pace this morning just letting my legs warm up for that KOM attempt and then after yesterday I don't know how much juice I've actually got in the tank for it we're going to find out 500 meters 16 percent means about an 80 vertical meters to be climbed over those 500 meters on the way up it's a lot of vertical meters particularly if you're going to do it in four and a half minutes
Cool still this time in the morning with the end of the tropical dry season now. I don't they don't have a wet dry here at Atherton because we're inland. But Cairns has a traditional wet dry. There it is. Up there. It's gonna be a wall that last that last section. This is good training for me. The uh, every year I do a run with a friend of mine, Toby, down in Canberra, and we go and we run Black Mountain. If you know Black Mountain, it's uh, got some pretty steep sections. Toby's a good runner. <laughs> He's fit. I think we've run it seven years. He's beaten me seven times. <laughs> so, I definitely need to do more training like this. <laughs> in order to get the VM up, give myself a better shot. There was one year when we were coming up to the summit, he was just ahead and he got up over the lip onto the car park first and then I drop alongside him as we arrived at the can that marks the top point. So strictly speaking a tie but because he, he uh, summited first but I will not rest until <laughs> I at least win one Driscoll Maliki Black Mountain Challenge. We get an uphill section here and then there'll be a fork. This trail actually continues around, runs along the ridge, goes through the bushes there and ends up at Mount Baldy. But we're just going up to the top and hopefully under five minutes. That'd be a good goal, a good time. Just check Strava, see where this starts. Because I don't want to kill my legs. Just go up here. After it levels, I'm going to go that way. So we're going to go this way. You're gonna come along, watch the suffering. Just letting some of that lactic clear before I go for it. Mount Baldy, over there. I'm gonna do uh, an oxygen loading technique from a guy called Wim Hof, Wim Hof, the Iceman. It just happens to be really effective at getting lots of oxygen into your system, having it kind of stored up in your muscles. When you're going to this kind of effort, you're burning and uh, you're lactic from basically the start. So if you can load up on oxygen, have your muscles really full, just gives you a little bit of an edge going into the start of one of these, one of these segments. Now, of course, you know, if the guy that has this had already run from all the way down there in the valley up here and up to the top, he's much better than I am, but you know, don't put a segment there if you don't expect it to be beaten. <laughs> Alright, let's do this oxygen loading. So what I'm doing is deep breath in, quick release. It's different to hyperventilating, which is hyperventilating it is not good for putting oxygen into your muscles. But deep breath in. Slow, fast breath out. Kind of leave some oxygen in the system. What you feel is uh, pretty quickly you start to get that tingly, lightheaded feeling. And that's the oxygen. A couple of minutes of this. We're ready to take it on. Oh. 
Oh man, that was, uh, that was intense. Well, the hard thing about doing a segment like that is that when you don't know it, you don't know where you need to ease back and where you can step on the gas. There were some sections there where I definitely could have gone deeper, but I just didn't know what was coming. That last section, actually I had to walk it, it was just too steep. But I would have had a go at running it and really just going for that last deep, deep effort if I'd known that it actually ends right up here at the top. <sighs> Although I think you can hear that uh, <laughs> I was pretty much at the limit there. <laughs> oh, look at the view. <laughs> Spectacular. Next mission, and it starts right here, is the descent. So there's two, there are two descending KOMs here. The first one down to the bottom of that first steep section. About two minutes to get back down to there. Two minutes, 11 seconds for the 500 meters. So just you need to watch not to roll an ankle, but that time is achievable. And then essentially there's one that goes right back to the start. Which the guy ran in like three minutes, 17 kilometers. That doesn't mean that's 1.7k, so it's at five, six minutes. So first KOM is the most important one to me, course record, and then we'll try for the other one if we're going well. I was well off the pace on all of those KOMs on the, uh, on the climb going up. Uh, I think I'm fifth overall. Uh, I was missed it by a lot, like 30 seconds. <laughs> That's a little big gap to make up. Um, on, the, on the descent, I think I'm seventh. Uh, only seven seconds off the pace there, which is not bad, but on a descent like that means you need to take a lot of risks if you want to grab that KOM and I don't know, I'm traveling around Australia. Yeah, I want to have some fun with this stuff, but I don't want to like destroy my knees and ankles, you know, chasing a stupid <laughs> course record. And then on the other descent, which finished kind of just up here, I was like, once again, well off the pace, probably like 30 seconds off the pace and outside the top 10. So not the best day in terms of course record hunting, but you know what? It's a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna go enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it too. And anyway, there's always another chance to get out there and go running. Have a great day.